Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I hope you are all doing well. Hello everyone in the chat. So we're going to take a look at your weekend messages, Virgo. Uh, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, smash that like and subscribe button. That will help the algorithm get my videos out to more people so they can get these messages. Um, yeah, so you guys, we're going to take a look at the weekend. Um, September 29th the 30th well not really September 29th because that's by the time you guys that, that day's already going to be gone so we're going to start with the 30th September 30th October 1st and 2nd okay see what the energies are playing out for this weekend general love if it shows up we're going to take a look at everything day by day okay so yeah let's get started and just be mindful the messages are like I said, general. So take what fits, leave the rest. And personal reading links and all that are below. All right. So we're going to take this, these jumpers here as overall energy for the weekend. Okay. So Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups. Okay. I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands, excuse me, and the Tower. Okay. So basically, I feel like over the weekend, there's definitely a change happening. Let's see. Um, yeah, I feel like some of you might be having very vivid dreams over the weekend, like some stuff showing up that you're kind of like, it's going to have a large, huge effect on you or something that you're intentionally making wishes or dreaming are hoping for is will start turning in your favor over this weekend whatever that might be in whatever area of your life okay over the weekend now there's this inspiration to rebuild after something that has been destroyed or there's been an upheaval so the overall message i feel if we put this all together is that i feel like whatever ended whatever tower moment came whether in the physical world in your emotional world in your material world which can be kind of physical your spiritual all of that whatever ended there's like a new beginning happening here some ideas or things that you think about or dreams or wishes fantasies you've been having whatever it might be I feel like either there's going to be for some there could be some finances or money or cash to be able to realize these dreams and for others this is just like a turn in your favor the something that you've been wanting or things that you've been hoping for after things have fallen about fallen apart there's like new inspiration to rebuild here. There's there's a new start happening here, okay? And that's what the Ace of Wands is. You know, there's kind of like a spark, initiation to have a, a brand new beginning and a brand new start. So I love this overall message for you over the weekend. So pay attention to things, your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, your plans, because I do feel like, you know, after destruction comes an opportunity to rebuild and make things better in your life in all areas okay so this opportunity things are going to be in your favor and um change coming to help you along kind of like the wind blowing you pushing you uh giving um supporting your sails, giving wind to your sails over the weekend okay let me take a look here and see we're going to take a look at September 30th. Show us the energy spirit for September 30th for all of my Virgos. What does Virgo need to know for Friday, September 30th? Okay. All right. So you're starting with the Four of Swords, Four of Needles, I should say. There's healing rest rejuvenation happening over this weekend here so an opportunity to retreat renew there's healing after an argument or a breakup so if there's some type of an argument there's like a repair to this argument okay if there was a disagreement or something along those lines 
I see over the weekend that there's going to be some healing in regard to that, okay? It's peace. I feel like it's peace. Let me see what else is going on for you on Friday. So you may have some type of... Uh, you may come to a place over the weekend after some kind of breakup or there's like a, a reprieve is what I feel and I feel like you're you're going to either have a conversation with someone and talk things out and come to like an agreement where like peace there's diplomacy coming back into union with another person this four of uh, swords is for me always the 1111 so this is divinely blessed divine uh, divinely guided let's see some of you might just be going on a weekend getaway or you know even hitting the spa <laughs> whatever it might be taking that time out to rejuvenate yourself okay and you have the fool here so yeah for some that's about travel for others there may be like a, com a confession about some kind of argument or something that something that might have happened where someone says either you or another person it says, you know, I was a fool, king of candles here, so could be a fire sign. Male or female energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, and the devil, Capricorn energy, Aquarius we have here, okay? So there's, there's definitely going to be, some of you, it's like a reprieve from an addiction or something obsessive or something that's just not good for you. Some of you, maybe you're quitting some bad habits, um, taking on the king of wands energy where you're being bold and, and confident and sure of yourself. I feel like some type of getaway or rejuvenation or healing or meditative practice or even just extra sleep over the weekend is going to do you a world of good. And as far as possibly dealing with another person if you have a connection with um like i said uh someone of a fire sign or com coming in with a fire sign energy i do feel there's going to be some kind of an apology or um kiss and make up or someone traveling in your direction to see you a new beginning uh, a new adventure okay um i do feel like on the love front this is someone who is not willing to let you go and wants to try to bring peace and restructure uh, or structure back to a relationship okay so interesting all right let's take a look and see for saturday what is the energy for saturday october 1st cannot believe we are in october and for those of you who i know you sometimes leave comments you want to know what this deck is this is the nightmare before christmas tarot deck okay so i did not create this deck this is a gift you can find it online i guess on amazon or you know wherever pretty heavy box and it comes with a guidebook which i don't use so there's that okay so let's get into uh, like i said in the first uh, on the 30th, it, this could be something coming in from an air sign. It could be an Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or a Capricorn. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the first September. Oh, I'm sorry. October 1st, Saturday, October 1st messages. The only thing I will tell you about this deck, if you decide that you want to um, purchase this deck is... I don't know if it's humidity or whatever it is, but they, the cards tend to stick together. <laughs> so if you get the deck, I, that's like I'm doing a review here. <laughs> but yeah, they have a tendency to stick together. So be mindful of that. If you purchase the deck, you would really have to like give them a lot of friction or, um, you know, warm them up. Okay. Saturday, October 1st, messages for Virgo. Okay. Ooh, the hermit. Yeah. Wow, Virgo. So that's your card for sure. Um, <clears throat> doing a lot of self-reflection. Oh, okay. Wow. Ten of swords or the ten of needles. Nine of needles. And the nine of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So it looks like Saturday.
if somebody is trying to come back in or try to rebuild a relationship with you, could be a romantic partner, could be a friendship, could be um, any like a sibling, any kind of situation. I feel for you on Saturday, you are definitely going to withdraw or go in because you're in this healing energy i do feel like you may just say let bygones be bygones ten of swords is like surrendering uh, there might have been a betrayal or something or someone did something that caused some kind of breakup because the four of swords comes after the three of swords the four of swords is like the aftermath so whatever might have happened before I do feel like you're going to let it go, but I but I also feel like there's a lot of anxiety and stress attached to this thing, which is why maybe you need some kind of healing or rest mental uh, to disengage mentally from something here. This actually might bring you more stress if somebody's coming back in to try to, you know, because I, I, I don't know, you've got the nine of pentacles and I feel like You might not want to rebuild something here with someone. If it was a really deep betrayal or, you know, stabbed in the back kind of energy, I really feel like you're just going to, I don't know if you're going to tell this person, accept your apology, or I understand, but I'm not going back down that road again. I do feel like, I don't know how many of you, but th there is a Virgo card here. Nine of Pentacles is like, I'm staying single, independent, and on my own. I don't need xyz from you okay so that's a really strong message here so it seems like to me over the weekend like you're trying to heal from something overall and just get yourself in a much better position and with somebody coming back in wanting to kind of like have a new beginning with you i don't know that you're ready um you might just tell someone you know i'm, I'm just i'm letting it go just let it go um, they might want to just try to, you know, because that devil energy is like holding on obsessiveness, addicted to you or feeling this, you know, maybe somebody did something that just was very hurtful to you, but an addiction might have been the source of why someone did something. I, I just feel like you're Saturday. You're just like, leave me alone just uh, let it go just I don't want to talk about it I'm doing me I'm on my own I'm doing my thing you know you might have felt betrayed it caused you a lot of stress and anxiety whatever the situation Saturday you're like I'm going off on my own you know putting your phone on do not disturb you, you, you know you might tell somebody if you know somebody's coming back in you might just say to them you know we'll talk about it another time not not this weekend I, I just you can't you're I just see like you're like nope no can do <laughs> okay whatever the situation is i feel like maybe you just need time you know to be on your own over the weekend here i just want to clarify the hermit yeah wow you got the uh strength card so that's what this is about regaining your strength some of you are just going to hit the gym you know you're like I, i'm not trying to have conversations right now just i need to go to the gym or just that's where you some of you go to the gym to to release all your stress and anxiety and i don't care if you're lifting weights or you're just you know your strength training or you are like you're putting stuff out of your head you're just running on the treadmill or maybe you're just just exercising I, just with the strength i feel like rebuilding building up your strength your stamina okay leo energy there um let me just uh i just want to clarify because i meant to do that and i didn't do it i want to clarify the fool and the devil show me this fool card for friday okay death yeah okay so scorpionic energy so phew. yeah this person's like whatever's they just want to put it behind them and they want to come in and try to repair and heal some some kind of connection with you after something that have happened or something that has happened let me get another clarifying card for that oh my goodness i can't even believe my card speak to me and all this major arcana the hierophant taurus yeah this i mean this person's coming in they want to do it they want to make it up to you they want to do the right do right by you 
<laughs> my goodness. Maybe it was something like in a work situation or it was a love relationship, whatever it might be. Let me see. Clarify again the Hierophant. Oh my God. I can't with this reading. Now the lovers. <laughs> Gemini energy here. For sure. The lovers. Um, make this somebody making a decision they want to be with you like long uh, partnership friendship love whatever it is marriage soulmate twin flame whatever you got going on yeah this person's like wanting to come in and try to heal something here show me the devil oh my gosh now i got the star wow there's healing someone's healing from some kind of an addiction or that devil energy, that anxiety, lying, um, you know, confusing, mixed messages, manipulation, everything that the devil stands for, addiction, um, Aquarius energy again. Oh, this reading, I just, I feel like they just keep clarifying everything that I'm, I'm picking up here. Okay, Eight of Cups, making that return. There's, there might be some time of uh, conversation about temporarily leaving maybe somebody went to rehab or temporarily having to leave and coming back clean and sober um for others this is like for disappearing or becoming or being absent from a friendship or a connection or you know not showing up for work whatever it might be if you're a boss or you know th there's some kind of energy that's playing out here the overall gist is you know wanting to come in and try to like sort some stuff out and get some healing but virgo like i said i feel like over this weekend especially on saturday you're like nope this is not the time <laughs> i was like nope this is not the time i'm you're virgo trying to get your strength back that's what i see here trying to get yourself in like a much better position all right let me see i mean i feel like I see you pulling some ropes here or doing some heavy work. Okay, that was just one little thing there. Let me see, let's take a look at Sunday. What's going on for Sunday? Oh, wow, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, goodness, Ace of Cups. The Sun. Leo energy again and the two of wands wow okay you've got some serious new beginnings starting off on Sunday new opportunities in business work career finance um, maybe receiving a gift or opening some gifts or throwing a party uh, some kind of new opportunity new investment opportunities showing up on Sunday also there's a new opportunity for love a new beginning and a new start with love the sun is success joy and happiness and the two of wands is basically making travel plans or thinking about a partnership i feel you know i have to tell you when the aces show up the aces are kind of like gifts from spirit right i i personally always feel like that it's kind of like you know when you're just i always use you know, you, you, it's winter comes and you pull out your old coat and you find a hundred dollars in there. You know, that's, it's a surprise. It's like a gift that comes down from above, right? Like, wow. And it happened, you happen to find it like right when you need a hundred bucks for something, you know, or, um, you, your, your car is running down and it's beat up or something like that. And you can't afford a new one. And then out of nowhere, somebody shows up and it's like, you know, I'm trying to get rid of my car and I, I just, I'm, I'm going to write it off or something and just says, do you want it? You know, like these material things with the Ace of Pentacles. So some kind of like gift that comes to you on Sunday that just is out of the blue and it's like a gift for, from spirit. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a gift from God. It's like grace. It's like, wow, you know, how did this happen? You know, I feel like you're going to experience that on Sunday to some degree and the same thing with love, okay? You might meet someone or connect with someone who like, you're like, like it's like spirit brought this person into your life and it's just, 
it feels right, okay? And that's what I mean. It, it, could, it could be a baby, a new baby. Um, it could be like um, like these these spiritual gifts that come. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. A celebration of love or meeting someone who's like your, like a doppelganger. It's like a wow kind of thing. You know, it's it's not anything that you could ever have anything to do with. These, these two energies on Sunday, there's like blessings and grace and gifts. Okay, so even if you're like, it could, it could even be for some of you some spiritual downloads that it's like, oh my gosh, I never saw things from that angle, from that point of view. So I feel like Sunday is kind of like an awakening, like, wow, you realize you are truly blessed. And you may not even feel like you are, but I feel like Sunday you're going to realize it. You know, even if you've received things prior to this or things great, have, little things, these are like little things that remind you that you're being watched after, or that you're being cared for. Okay. And the sun is like complete joy. This is like complete and utter joy. And that two of wands is like you standing at a crossroad now, like, I feel like you're going to have some kind of an awakening. Like, you know, now I actually have several paths that I can walk down. Whereas before, you may have felt like there's only this one dreary road and it's long and it's, I'm tired. Do you know? Now there's like a shortcut. There's a shortcut showing up. You might, you find a shortcut, but it's a shortcut that's going to help you get to, it's just like a gift, you know, like you're walking this trail somewhere in the mountains or you're and it's really long or, or it's not a cheating thing it's just spirit saying here i'm going to help you out a little bit and sunday's going to be this opportunity and, and and for some of you you may come to your senses <laughs> not and i don't mean that in like you're not thinking correctly but you may come to realize that Maybe you want to give a friendship or a relationship another chance, you know? I feel like Saturday is kind of like you're getting the let out. You, you have all this anxiety and stress, and Saturday is like, I just need to get rid of this excess energy because my head is spinning, and, and you feel like, oh, somebody's showing up here, and you weren't really ready for that because you're trying to heal and it and it's always the way it goes once you get into a really good place that's when you find that um <laughs> i hate to say it like this but that's when like the pokes start happening you get you get your little tests you know um so overall i feel in relation to this reading like i was saying something that i felt like was destroyed or this situation that came out of the blue in the past that just kind of left you devastated like it's kind of like well I'll use the example like a hurricane that just that just comes except this would be more like a tornado that you don't have time that you didn't have time to prepare for and it just came out of the blue and just completely wiped you or knocked you off your feet you know I see the opportunity now is showing up over this weekend for you to rebuild and you have some stuff it's going to be on your mind you have some stuff you're you're going to be asked to think about but you're not going to have to make any major decisions you're going to have a little bit of help in this rebuilding because the wheel of fortune is destiny this is fate this is spirit saying we're going to help you turn things around and things are going to start turning around for you right but at the end of the day just remember just because these little gifts come you know you can always refuse them as well or you can say no i mean i'm not saying that you should but some of you might have a hard time believing that you deserve anything so beautiful and so wonderful um, but spirits coming on sunday to tell you you know hey you know that heartbreak you know that argument you know that thing that happens okay well we're gonna help you through this okay you know that 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 feeling of depression you know that feeling of sadness and grief you're not alone in this okay um you know that sense that you have where you've been blocked in a wounded warrior okay well you're not going to suffer okay <laughs> the emperor they just told me for some of you god the father is with you okay or, or 
Maybe Santa Claus is watching it for you. I, it's, it's in the movie, right? It's in the movie. Um, we're going to bring balance and structure. You have someone leading the way. And that's, and, that's the, and that's spirit. However you choose to view spirit. The high priestess. Trust your intuition. We're here with you. And some of you are like, I know. Some of you are saying to yourselves, I know. I have gotten as far as I did because of my spiritual beliefs. Or because I have faith. Okay? And because of support. Right? There's support. This is the three of cups. There's people around you who are cheering you on and are here for you, right? So I could keep going through all these cards, but take your time this weekend, do whatever you need to do for yourself. Make yourself happy, Virgo. Get yourself in a good place. Yeah, you're gonna have some decisions and things that I feel like are gonna come up, but you don't have to make these decisions over the weekend. I feel like some of you, if you have a hard time trying to decide, um, because there was hurt or betrayal or you're, you've, you're still wounded and you're trying to heal from that, maybe just give it up, you know, to spirit and say, you know, I don't know what I want to do with this situation. I'm going to let you handle this for now. I'm going out running or I'm going to go do some stuff with friends or uh, I'm going to get back to some, I'll, I'll, I'll respond when the time is right. I'm not going to react to anything. I'll respond right? But ask for, ask for guidance, ask for assistance. If you do that, I do see it comes to you. All right, Virgo, I love this reading. This was very, very spiritual for you guys. Very. Um, so I'm going to leave it there for you. I hope you all have a massively fantastic weekend and I will see you all back here on Sunday for your singles reading. All right, you guys love you very much. Have an awesome, awesome weekend again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.